Hi guys, I'm VP. In this video, we are going to see what are all the documents required to open a DMAT account and how to place a buy sell order in our broker account. Okay, let's get started. To open a DMAT account, you need three things. The first one is Aadhaar card, the second one is PAN card and the third one is your signature in a white paper. These three things you should have in a soft copy format in our computer. Okay, while opening our DMAT account, the broker will mainly ask these three things we should upload to your broker to open our DMAT account. Within 24 hours, the broker will create our DMAT account and hand over to us. If you are below the age 18, then we should need a guardian with us to open our DMAT account. Okay, the broker which I am using is Jirada and it charges around 200 rupees to open a DMAT account. But there are many brokers who are offering a service of free opening of a DMAT charges. Okay, this is the dashboard of the Jirada broker which I am using, and to the left, you can see the market watch list. And in the dashboard, we have our name and in the equity segment, they show you how much margin we have and our investment value and our current value. Okay, now let us see what all the tabs are available in our broker account. Okay, first thing is our dashboard and second thing is our order account. Whatever order we are placing, it will show here. Okay, and third one is holding tab. In this holding tab, whatever shares we have in our account will show here. And in the fourth one, these positions, it is nothing but if we buy a share today, then it will show here. Whatever positions we are having, it will show here. And the fifth one is bits. If you are applying for IPO or a government securities, it will be shown here. To apply IPO, you can select this bits IPO and you can apply here. Whatever upcoming IPOs are coming, you can apply here. And also we can invest in the sovereign gold bonds and some government bonds. Okay. And in funds tab, it will show how much margin we have, much margin we have used and our available cash. Okay. To add funds to our account, you can simply click add funds or to withdraw, withdraw money from the account, you can click withdraw in our account. Okay. Now let me show you how to buy a shares. Okay. For that example, in the watch list, I'm selecting ITC. Okay. Okay. If you see here, if I select ITC, then it shows two tabs. The first one is from NSC exchange and the second one is from BSC exchange. Okay. We can select anything and we can buy from it. Okay. For now, I am selecting NSE, just like this. If we click this bar and it will show the market depth. Okay. The blue button with the letter blue, which indicates the buy order and the red button with the yes, which indicates the sell order. Okay. And it is for market depth and it will show the chart of the ITC company and it is to delete the ITC share from our watch list. Okay. And if, if I press the buy order, then this tab will be popped out. Okay. So we can change, we can change our exchanges, whether we want to buy in BSE or NSE. Okay. Right now it is in NSE. Okay. And from, okay, after this, we have our regular order or cover order or AMO or iceworks. For now, we for now we can avoid this. In the regular order, we have two things. The first one is intraday or MIS, and second one is long term. Okay. If we select the intraday order, then it means the shares we are buying, then we should square off the positions within the trading day itself. For that only the intraday, the long term or CNC, the blue dot is selected. No, the long term or CNC means it is called cash and carry. It means we are giving our cash and we are carrying the shares. Okay. If you are selected long term, then we should pay the full margin to buy a one share. Okay. Now, if you see here, for one share, it is trading around 454 rupees. Down here, see the margin amount will also will be same as the trading amount. Okay. In the quantity, we should select how much quantity order we should place. And in the price, we have two options, whether it's a market order or a limit order. If we click market order and if we click buy, then whatever the current market price is trading, the, our order will be executed on this. If we click the limit order, then I can select at what exact price we, I need to buy the share. Okay. Now the share is trading at 454 rupees. I can select here as 454 or 453 and I can place our buy order. Okay. And we can also set our stop loss order in percentage. And we can also set our target. Let's say 5 percentage or 6 percentage. And if we press the buy button, if you have funds in our account, then automatically we can buy our share. Okay. Okay. Now if you see here, I have already a holdings of 7 ITC shares. Now if I press exit, then it shows automatically it will select the exchange. I'm already having my shares in the NSE exchange. So the NSE exchange is selected and regular order and and the long term or CNC, I am holding this share for long term. If I select one quantity, I am going to sell in a marketplace. Even if I press sell order, the account, the order will not be executed. Why? Because in the previous video, we have seen that our shares will be stored in our DMAT account. Okay. Okay. Let me show you. Okay. In the previous video, we have shown that we are investor and we are placing a sell order in our broker. But we have seen that our shares will be stored in our deposit this account. We should need a authorization from our CDSL. It is where my ITC share is stored okay now if i press the sell order the broker will get a confirmation from our depositories okay then what happens is cdsl menu will pop up at that we should enter our user id and our tpin that is time based otp is nothing but the otp which will send to our mobile number and we should enter our otp then only our cdsl will allow us to sell our shares okay 
this is how we should sell our share already which we are holding in our demat account okay now let us see what is a bid and offer okay for that let me take a screenshot and show you in another tab okay we can see that it is our itc share and the current market price is 454 rupees okay here we can see the bid and offer the bid is nothing but the buyers okay bid for buyers and offer for sellers now the share is trading at 454 rupees okay now the buyers are saying that we can i can buy the share for 454.60 rupees how much orders how much orders is 11 orders it is nothing but 11 accounts the order is placing okay the quantity is 2134 if i am placing one buy order at 454.60 then it will add up to 12 orders and the quantity will also increase okay we see in our offers then it is the sellers sellers who have the shares already in their demat account okay they are offering for 454.70 rupees okay there are two orders that means the order is executed from two trading accounts and the quantity is 1313 the nsc's the exchange job is to match the buyers and sellers okay if there are more buyers then whatever the current market price trading and if there are more buyers then automatically the share price will move up okay if automatically there are more sellers for a share then the share price will fall okay it is the basic concept of rising and falling of a share price okay now let me show you uh, two useful websites where you can track your company's share price and their fundamentals okay now the first website we are going to see is tradingview.com we press the plus button and we, if we select our share name then it will show this okay now in the time frame we are selected a time frame okay in that it will show what what is our opening price and closing price and what is the current market price it will show here okay okay it is the monthly time frame so that we can see from even 2009 to till now how the share prices have moved and we can see okay we can reduce it to even weekly it means that the one candle which represents the one week of price action it is the useful website called trading view you can go and select infosys then if i select the symbol then it will show here even in this website it will show at which date the dividend of the company is provided and the second website i am going to show you is moneycontrol.com and in this website you can see latest news according to our stock market and in the search bar search the company name then it will also provide you the information about the company okay these are the two useful websites called trading view and money control which will be helpful for us to analyze a company what we are going to invest in okay in this video we have seen what are the documents we should have while opening our demat account and the second one we have seen how to buy a shares and how to sell our already existing share from our demat account and third one we have seen two useful websites called trading view and money controller.com to analyze a company which we are going to invest in okay in next video we can see some commonly used words in the stock market till then stay tuned thank you